Magandang hapon mga kababayan. It is the season. The holidays are upon us. And of course, Christmas is inching closer. And so there are a lot of parties. And whether it's an office party or it's a personal party or it's a friendly party or it's a family party, you want to look good for people around you, correct? Buti na lang, we have Marinello giving us tips on how to look good for Christmas parties or holiday parties this season. And that's today on Kababayan LA. We are going to give you some makeup up tips what are the hottest trends what are the hottest colors to wear this season also how to style your hair and we also have some something for the men out there so you better watch out that's all today on america's first and only daily talk show for and about the filipinos my name is janelle sawyer kababayan in los angeles and we are here at the marinello campus in lomita joining us this afternoon are some of the representatives of marinello one of them is Catherine. hello and welcome Hi. to kababayan la nice to see you Yes, we've met you before on the show. Thank you for welcoming us to your lovely campus. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You're welcome. And happy holidays to you. You too. All right. When we talk about holidays. incorporated into the styles as well as the 1940s very um, vintage waves still coming down nice very essential very kind of casual so there are a lot of trends for the hair and I guess it just depends on how long your hair is like length of the hair let's take a look at model number one Selena very beautiful okay tell yes, us about sir. this hair um, well, what I did for Selena, I had um, incorporated a lot of the micro crimping, which is very tiny micro, gives a lot of texture, uh -huh. as well as these long waves, these let's, long big waves. Yeah, let's right talk here. about that, the crimping. Uh, when I was growing up, we had crimping, but you could actually hear the waves. Um, but when you're saying micro crimping, you hardly see it. Yes, it's more of a texture thing. Um, you can come see very closely, it's very tiny, very fine but it is more of a texture and more, um, so you can do more with it. Okay. You can do incorporate in a lot of style. How do we achieve that? Is it a machine or is it's, it? It's just like the crimper. Mm -hmm. They have, um, a re it's really small, really skinny, okay. and um, it gets very hot. Okay. So it works for a lot of hair types. Hers, you know, for instance, is coarse, straight hair. Okay. So it does work for her and fine hair as well. Okay, and so if she turns around, I see a lot of detail. Yes. In so. the back, yeah. Here we have, um, I put in a lot of the crimping on the side mm -hmm. as an accent. And then here's the knotted updo, which has mm -hmm. all up here, is all knotted and then twisted incorporation. So it's pretty much just twist, knot, twist, knot, and pinning up into like a bun. Okay. Something like this would last, I mean, would take how long to, to do? It took about maybe... Um, an hour mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. to make sure everything's right and she has such long gorgeous hair right, right. so obviously that's gonna take more time but um, I'd say about an hour and something like this would work well for like me medium length hair long hair yes. Can you turn around to you want to see your beautiful face yes so any type any length of hair any length of hair but you have to keep in mind when you have a shorter do mm -hmm. you might have a smaller bun okay so you might you know have to be higher or okay. you can do a low bun as uh -huh. well Wonderful. So, mm -hmm. thank you so much model number two Rihanna I see a lot of like waves cascading yes. very romantic Rihanna, I think this is what you were talking about yeah Rihanna yeah. also has beautiful long hair mm -hmm. and she actually has a little bit of that ombre style that we had um, seen all year or two mm -hmm. and hers is more of that 1940s pretty big wave right if you turn on the onto your side Rihanna we want the other side we want to see your one and oh, yes. just turn a little bit more to the camera <laughs> <Turn>. no, no, no. <laughs> Okay. No, no, no. The other side. There yes. Go. Wonderful. Sorry. Perfect. Um, I also incorporated just a little, little tiny twist knot mm -hmm. just to gather it all to kind of set it together for a party or for a nice night uh -huh. out. It's a good thing for them. And it's very sexy because it's one-sided. Yes. Yeah, very I sensual. I noticed that there's a there's a section of hair that you did not include in the bun. Yes. It's just depending on your mood. Well, you know, she has um, a little bit rounder of her face, so mm -hmm. I wanted to soften that up. So I kind of brought out her bang, made it a more of a swoop, and then more of just a cascading bang. Right. And the cascade, you get the effect from like a curling iron? Um, well, for her, we, you can use a curling iron, but those have more barrel curls. Mm -hmm. So I used a uh, one and a half 
inch wand uh -huh. and I wanded her whole hair first and then pulled them out oh okay to and create this would take the wave. how yeah. long this one was a little bit shorter this is probably about a half an hour again it depends on the hair mm -hmm. you know if she also has coarse hair so depending on how well your hair takes the curl um, yeah, but this one is not as long. Thank you so much, Rihanna. When we talk about curls like that, um, do we use a, do we need a lot of products, or you know, does it depend on the hair texture? Any well? up to you. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to have some type of hold inside the hair already, and then when you dry it, um, a hairspray, a light hairspray. I try not to use too much in the beginning mm -hmm. because it you can burn the hair as well. And I do more hairspray at the end just to hold it together. Right, right. And of course, I mentioned at the top of the program, we also have something for the men. What are the trends for the men? We have Eric modeling it for us. Yes, Hello. Eric. So for the men, it's also really mainly just clean, nice, and go working with the natural hairline and very like manscaping, we like to call it, tweezing the eyebrows but keeping them full, not too clean cut perfect. So is it acceptable nowadays to tweeze the eyebrows of men? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. It, I think every man should keep some nice. It's part of hygiene, tips. right? Yes, right, right, definitely. Right. What about the back? So let's let's turn around, Eric. Let's take a look at the um, the length in the back. Well, I, we kept it nice and short, mm -hmm. nice tapered a little bit, and then on the top is where we have most of the volume and more of the area where you can play with. So right now he's kind of having the faux hawk look, mm -hmm. and this keeps it nice, clean cut and shaven. So just nice and clean. Right. Really. What about colors? Do we have anything, any color trends for men? We want to see your face now, Ari. Turn around. Thank you. Well, he has this um, kind of an auburn gold brown going, mm -hmm. but I've seen a lot of men doing this darker brown, and you know, for, for white males, uh, you know, the blonde, mm -hmm. like it's a lot of men's one. So anything natural also. Anything natural. So it doesn't really matter just what suits your face, right? You can mm -hmm. go longer, because I know Filipino men would also do longer hair sometimes. Yes. I've seen it um, around, just around. I've seen a lot of Filipino guys with longer hair, right. so about the shoulder length. Right, right, right. And they, I, they do the ponytail sometimes, yeah. you know, but um, yeah, I've seen a few. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you to the models as well. More tips when we return on the show. Show. Don't go away.